But what are our six... Can we remember them? We've written them a lot of times now. Where did we begin? I don't know. A. A, yep. Wow, that was a little advanced. We did get to zero to the power of zero. Uh, but that, that took a while for us to get there, didn't it, right? I think we started with multiplication first, didn't we? Right? A what? times A. A, A to the power of something. A, and then a times A to the power of something else. What did we do a to the indices? Plus M plus M. Good. M plus N. We added the indices together. Good. It was a version of the same law but for division, right? So here. We divide, and what do we do to the indices now? We subtract, good. Okay, excellent, so far so good. Uh, from all of these, we got the zero power, the zero index, right? Because we saw, oh, if these two are the same, these numbers, um, you know, say if it was a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, something divided by itself is always equal to one, that's right. So. That's where we got that result from, and then we looked at zero to the power of zero as well. We took a lot of time to do that. Okay, now the most recent laws we did, they're all interconnected to each other. They have to do with brackets. Do you remember what it was? Hmm. Anyone, anyone want to try? I'll give you a clue. It starts with an A. <laughs> this, oh, is, this is the most the recent one. Yep. The so the we called this power of a power. Right? So it's like something cubed and then the, you square the whole thing, right? Power and power. So what happens here to these two patterns? How do they relate to each other? Yep. Like a to the power of m and then a plus a to the power of m. Like Ooh. That's, that plusing sounds like this, doesn't it? Which is a different index, right? It's multiplication. Yeah, that's right. It's like this. Okay? Or if you like, for short, just mn. You know, sometimes we just leave off the multiplication sign. Okay? Yeah, that was the uh, fourth index law, power of power, and it had two very, very similar cousins. Um, it had this guy, when you've got two <coughs> numbers in there, right? So you've got a product, and then they get raised to a power, like they get, get squared or something. What happens to both of them? They yeah. times by the number. Yeah, they, they both get that power. This power gets latched onto both numbers, okay? So you're going to get this, AM and BM, okay? It's very, very similar to this one. Okay. Last one, just like from 1 to 2, we went multiplication to division. Here, we're going to go multiplication to division. So if I have division here, like so, okay, what do we conclude about that? Just like before, you're going to get AM and BM, but because it's division, not multiplication, you get division here. Okay, and that's where we stopped. Now, before I go on, I just want to emphasize to you, like, these things here, that with this list that we've been developing, it's very important that we've been developing it. Like, I didn't just, you know, first lesson, okay, everyone, memorize the ten com six commandments of indexes, you know, that got indices, um, and why are they true? Because, you know, just, just memorize it, right? Just learn it. Do you remember, like, each one, it sort of grows out of the previous ones, right? Like, we got this one from these two, and we got these ones from this, okay? So they're kind of us just trying to work out what are the rules of the game and how do they all lead to one another?